Hey guys, what's cracking? I'm Seraphim Wanakin. Today I'd like to show you guys a freaking awesome, sick, infinite reflecting mirror that I have made today for you to see with your eyes and reflections. So follow me today, won't you? And I'll show you guys exactly how it's done. First thing you want to do is follow me into an epic adventure in a roller coaster. In my next episode, I will show you every single roller coaster I have in my world. But for today, I'm just going to show you guys this little one. This little slice. So enjoy, guys. Okay, check this out, guys. This is what I'm talking about. It looks pretty cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys my mirror room. So first we have to go to a little house. And we go into the little house. And voila, guys! Check this out. How cool is that? It's like a reflection of a reflection of a reflection. Faction of a faction. And you can see behind the chair, in front of the chair. And then you can see in the other mirror, behind the chair, and in front of that chair also. So it's identical and it's reflectical. So you, if you guys think this is pretty sick, smash that like button and subscribe. And, and, then, I'll, and then fix the like button. So guys, if you want to know how this is built, it's very, very simple, kind of. All you need to do is a little bit of mathematics. So, as you can see, I am duplicating every single image, like, exactly the same. But when I get to the end, I'm going to start to curve it off a little bit. Now, this is to save time and to save space. You can go on indefinitely, but it's not going to look much different. Because uh, your draw... Uh, your view distance isn't actually going to get much further than that. So I did a little cheat here where I'm actually just going to shrink the rooms down a little bit. I'll show you how that's done. So I'm basically going one block up on every exit. And there you go guys. So I'm basically just putting, getting a smaller and smaller room as we go. But I'm trying to sort of, I had it curving right off as you can see with the redstone. It's like curving all the way to the left. I decided that actually didn't look too, didn't look right, so I decided to even it out, and I'm actually going to do it like this. So I'm going to bring it back out so it goes into the center. So we want both sides of the room coming into one single point at the end. So it's a bit of an optical illusion, but it's pretty cool, similar to my previous video. And also guys, I have many tutorials and many, many, many videos, so go check them out. They're all pretty cool, pretty epic, I should say. And there we go, guys. So see how it goes into the center like that. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to do the walls, the roof, and everything exactly the same. And keep in mind, the more objects you put in there, the more obvious the reflection is going to be, giving a better effect. The ice blocks look pretty good. There we go. So it looks like glass. Okay. So do the same on both sides. I did try using stained glass. Um, I'll show you what that looked like. It, I don't think it was as good, but anyway, let's have a look. And this is what it looks like, guys, with the stained glass. This is black glass. And as you can see, the further in you look, the darker it gets. I don't know if I... I, I don't know. I think it's distracting. It doesn't look right. Now, uh, this is with clear glass. It looks a bit better, but yeah, it's the same problem. It, it just looks a bit distracting. So yeah, I think ice was at probably the best bet. And this is what it looks like with no ice or anything else. And that's what it looks like with ice. So I think the ice looks better, guys. And there you go, I've got um, a Steve head on a door on a half slab in front of a table made out of a fence and carpet. 
and I like that effect, it looks pretty cool. And there we go, it looks like just some dude sitting in a room on his own. And there we go, it's like completely reflective. I think it looks sick, it goes on forever. And there you go guys, it's pretty, yeah, it's a big build. It's Look at it underneath, see, it's massive. It's not like you could build it any smaller than that with it, to get that effect. But anyway guys, I'm now in my underground roller coaster. If you want to know how that works, I have a tutorial on X-Ray roller coasters. And it's pretty simple to do. In my next video, I'd like to show you guys every single roller coaster I've ever done, all in first person perspective, all in one shot. See you later.